Okay, so now that we're done with this um, data log, we probably want to um, import it into Excel so we can do some more things with it. Uh, we can make some more pretty graphs and um, do some other data analysis in Excel if we wanted to. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to File and Save As, and we're going to save it to the desktop. So let's do um, Ultra Data Logging, or Ultrasonic Data Logging, and we'll save it to the desktop. Now, this is the tricky part. So now what we want to do is open up Excel. So that's down here. And we're going to go to, we're going to open up Excel. And we are going to go to data. And we're going to import from text. So we're going to click this button. We're going to go to the desktop. And we're going to go to um, we're, we're looking for our data logging file. Now, we're not, we don't see it because it doesn't have this extension. It has a log extension. So we're going to go to all files. And if we scroll down, we see ultra data logging dot log. That's what we want. And we hit import. So this is Excel's text import wizard, what they call it. And what's nice about it, usually, um, it picks the options that are good for you. So if we click next, what we see is that it has a bunch of um, stuff in the top. And it's sort of just giving you what all the sensors are doing and how long we're taking the data and all the stuff that we set up in the beginning. And now you can see time and ultrasonic. So this is the time and the distance it took. So we're good. So we can hit finish. And then we just ask you where to put it. So we'll put it right there. And now we have our time. So it's zero seconds from when we started. It was 19 inches away. The ultrasonic sensor was pointed 19 inches away. So now what we want to do is make a scatter plot of this. So that way we can see, we can do some more things with it. So if we highlight it, go to insert, scatter, and we can insert the scatter plot. So as you can see, it looks very similar, and we'll go back to our yellow uh, plot here, uh, which is good, because it should be the same exact data. And what's nice about Excel is we can do a whole bunch of stuff with this. We can retitle it so simple ultrasonic data logging we can um, get rid of the legend we can make some changes to the layout for example we probably want to do some axis titles so we want to do um, distance from sensor and which and, and what you usually do is put the units in parentheses after that so that's what we want to do for that and then for the other axis title, um, I'm sorry, this is not distance from the center, is it? So this is, <coughs> this is the time from start in seconds. So we can do that. And then the other thing we want to do is do the vertical axis title. And again, we'll want to change. We'll, this is what we're going to do distance from sensor in inches. <coughs> and now it looks like a graph we'd be used to, which is nice. We can um, do many other things in Excel, and that's something we'll, we'll look at later. But right now, um, just you'll need a plot like this for your presentation, so make sure you know how to do this.